Visual Studio provides a functionality called code regions that you need to be familiar with, so let's take a look at it here. The code editor in Visual Studio gives you the ability automatically to expand or collapse blocks of code. Methods and class definitions are all collapsible by default. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment, in case you've never seen it or worked with it. And the real cool thing here is that you can specify a block of code you want to expand and collapse, but I also want to show you some of the ways that you can work with this code to expand it and collapse it, and even when it's collapsed and so forth. And we can use the region keywords, region and end region, to build our own blocks of code. And then I'll show you kind of cool things that you can do in code in Visual Studio. Let's jump out to Visual Studio. Now I'm working with this project that I created a little earlier. And in this video, you see it's named the Windows Forms application. You can find this as the Say Hello project out there in your working files folder. So I'll put a Say Hello project out there for you so you'll have it. And all I've done here is on a very simple Windows Forms application, I've just simply dropped a button onto the form and then on the code behind page, I've added on the button click event, I've called the say hello method and I have input it right here. Somehow I've got a couple of extra lines in here and I'll take those out. That's all that's happening here. But I do want you to notice these code regions. Notice there is a minus sign right here. And if I mouse over it, that all highlights. Well, notice if I click on the minus sign, then that is collapsed. And this gives me a way to collapse my code so that I can see other parts on the screen without having to scroll up and down. I'm going to take it off 150 and go back to 100%. And you can see it a little better here for the way it's working. I'm going to put some more things in here, okay? I comment, this creates a message box. So I put a comment in here and then add more functionality later to this. But I want to show you that if I collapse this, so if I come over here and click on the minus sign and collapse this, notice. I don't have to expand it to see what's going on inside there. I can just simply mouse over the ellipsis here, and this shows me what is contained in the body of that method. Pretty cool stuff. And so I can start to collapse things through here, and then just by mousing over these sections, see what's going on inside these things. So I don't have to necessarily expand those to see them. Notice I can also just mouse over just to the left of that line, this vertical line that you see. Once it turns the gray color, I can double click and it will collapse it. I don't have to navigate and get on top of that little square if I don't want to. And so that's another thing that I can do. Now there's another really neat functionality that I want to show you, and that is the ability to build my own regions. And so let's say that I've done some tests and I'm looking for something in my code, and I know that the button click and the method that it's calling is okay, but I don't want to look at that thing again, so I'm just going to do pound lowercase region, and I'm just going to call this MTL code. And then I'm going to come down here to the end of that, and I'm just going to do pound end region, all lowercase. Now notice what that did. That created a situation where I can determine exactly what I want to collapse. And if I mouse over the title when it's collapsed, it will show me everything that's in there. So you can see if I mouse over it, you can see my private void button one, the button one click handler. I can see my method say hello that's being called. And then I can see my beginning and end regions. Then also you'll notice that if I just move over here with this line highlighted right here, it will show me the entire region that is encompassed by that. So I can use these regions all over the place to create my own regions that I can close and open automatically, okay? And sometimes you'll see people do all kinds of things to make these stand out. You have to go by your own organization's standards on how you build these things. These kind of things can get really irritating. So that's regions, code regions that are automatic and those that you can name with your own 
region and in region keywords. Then there's something else that you can do that I just got to show you. Notice right here inside the region or outside the region, whatever, I've got this button click and it's calling this particular functionality, right? It's calling the say hello method that I set down here. I'm going to just add a bunch of lines so that it doesn't appear on the window. And let's say that I know that I'm calling say hello, but I don't really know what's going on in say hello when it gets called. I can just put my cursor over it, right click and choose peak definition and click. And you'll notice that it brings up this little window right here and shows me what's going on in the say hello method. And if it was larger than this, I could scroll up and down and then I can just close this and I'm off of it. I could also right click and say go to definition and notice that opens that. It takes me down there to that. If this was in another class, it would open that class and bring it to me. But anyway, that's a peak definition. A lot of guys like to use Alt F12. It will cause that to pop up and we can take a look and see what's going on there. A lot of cool tricks like that in Visual Studio. I'll show you more of these as we move through the course.